Hello and welcome everybody. This is Roland Hartman from Graphic in Motion and in this tutorial I want to show you how to customize my Stripes logo template. So quickly before we get started in After Effects I just want to point out that there are actually two versions included in this template. So if you take a look at the project folder you see that we have two After Effects projects in here and the one the first one is called Stripes logo 4k and the second one is called Stripes Logo Full HD. So I think that the names are pretty self-explanatory. We have the 4K version here, the Ultra Full HD resolution, and then we have the standard 1080p Full HD resolution right here. So choose your resolution and then open up the After Effects project. When you open up the After Effects project, you should see that there are a few compositions already open. So first of all, the logo composition should be already open. This is where you can put your logo or your title. Then the audio composition should be already open. This is where you can import your audio track. And then we have two different versions. The first one is the light version with a light background. And yeah, the stripes have no glow on them. And then we have the dark version with a dark background and the stripes have a slight glow on them. And of course you can change all these colors and yeah this is what i'm going to show you now so let's get started with the customization and let's say i want to customize my light version for now and first of all i want to import my logo and to import the logo i can go to my logo comp and now i go to file and i select import file and i quickly move to my folder to import my logo here we go. And with my logo selected, I drag it in my logo composition. And now I will simply disable my text layer here. You see that as a placeholder, there is a text layer. So if you want to use a text instead of a logo, then you simply can use this text layer, you can double click, enter your title, change the font, of course, and stylize your title. And then you're good to go. In my case, I want to use the logo, so I will disable my text placeholder here and enable my logo. What I want to do now is I want to scale it down because it's of course way too big. So let's make it like something like this. And one more hint for this template, please make sure that your title doesn't exceed this box here, approximately this inner box here of the action save title. If you do not see this, you can toggle it here, title action save area. Because if it goes too far to this side or to this side here, so too far outside of these boxes, then the reveal may not work as well anymore. So as I said, these two lines here, either this one or this one, so between these should be the maximum width of your text or logo. So now let's scale this down a little bit more, maybe to 35%, and I will move it up a bit because I need a little bit of room underneath it because I want to add a subtitle and yeah there's also a shadow going on so now let's move on to the render light composition and you see already that it changed and it looks quite different now so the possibilities you have here is first of all you can change the color and look setup and you see we have this layer here that's called color and look setup if you select this and move to the effect controls panel you see a bunch of different controls here so let's start with the logo offset. If I set this to 100, actually this is controlling a scale value. So if you set this to 100, then you have no offset. You cannot really see this that good now, but you see here on this frame, it's probably better to see. So let's change it back to the standard value of 110. And yeah, you see that the offset is getting a little bit bigger. I have to increase this to make this more obvious. You know, if I increase this, you see now I have way more stripes visible, uh, way more elements are visible. And this is how you can control how big the offset actually should be. As I said, standard value is 110 and I will leave that for now. Then we have the blur offset. And if I set this to zero, you will immediately see that it will change my look quite dramatically. Now the stripes are really only visible in my offset logo. So if I increase the offset for now, then you probably can see what the offset does a bit better. It simply scales and offsets the logo. And I will put in 110% here. 
and the blur controls yeah the blur of these graphical elements so whatever look you are you are trying to achieve you can change the blur to whatever you want the standard value is 70 and i will leave it on 70 for now next you have five different color controls the first one is the base color the base color controls the color of your logo during the reveal or during the build up so if i go to a later frame between four and five seconds you see that my logo is already revealed uh, in its original colors and you see during the build up it's black and this is because the base color is set to black or very dark gray here so i could change the base color now let's see maybe i make it a little bit brighter it's not so dark like so and you see immediately it changes this base color bit now i can change up to four colors of my stripes or assign up to four colors to my stripes here and i want to use this in my case to make this a little bit more colorful so i will pick a few colors from my logo so let's take this color picker here and select first of all the blue color here then i will take my pink color here then I will take this yellow orange color and as the last one the color number four will be this green here so let's take a look how this looks I will move back between two and three seconds and now I see all my stripes here and yeah I do not really like the green the green is a little bit too dull and, and too too dark and also uh, the yellow so I will change these a bit and take the brighter colors here so I will simply use the color picker again and go for the bright colors here in my logo and of course you can change this manually you do not have to pick them you can simply click on these color icons boxes and then you can change and apply your colors manually or by values so for now i just want to take the brighter colors here and let's see what this does and i think that this looks way better now and i'm pretty satisfied with this so you see a very easy and fast customization process so the next step that I can do is I can change the background color. You see we have two colors here, the inner color and the outer color, because this is a simple ramp. And if you want to change these, then you can simply click these boxes and then you can change your background. So I could, for example, create a more of a bluish background. Let's do this for now, like so. Now I take over this color so that I have the same values here and simply make it a bit darker like so okay and the last option you have is you can control the ramp scatter this is just adding a little bit of noise to avoid the bending that occurs when you have a slight ramps and when you're working in an 8-bit project so the scattering is set to 250 which is quite a high value as a standard and if you really look closely then maybe we'll see a bit of the scattering in the background here happening i don't know whether the screen recorder is able to show this spot i see a little bit of noise going on and this should avoid the bending problems okay so the last step of our customization more or less the last step is to change the subtitle you can see the subtitle layer is a simple text layer and it appears at around three seconds a little bit later because it has a little fade going on so in between three and four seconds position your time marker and then you can apply or change this text first of all i want to change the position so i will go to grab this on the y-axis and move it down so that it is below my logo like so and then i can of course change the color in the characters panel here in this case i just want to take over white or maybe i make it gray let's see how this looks like no then it i cannot see it anymore with this blue background so i will make it white and maybe just to make this look a little bit better i will make this a little bit darker too so that we get a little bit more contrasts okay so last step you can add your audio if you want to use the same audio as i did in the preview video then you find the link to this audio also in the project folder in the links folder here is the glitch logo sound so if you want this you can get this on audio jungle and then you can also like i showed you before with the logo simply import the audio file and then drag it in your audio composition and that's it and then you're good to render it out and now we can take a look at the dark version because you see now we have this light version 
And if we go to the dark version, you see that the logo is also changed, but of course the settings are not linked. So you can create a light version and a dark version with different color settings. And there is one difference between the light and the dark version, as I mentioned before, and this is the glow. So in the dark version, we have a glow added to our colored stripes and you can change these settings right here. You see we have glow on off checkbox here and you see also what this does. It adds a bit of a glow. And then we have a few settings for the glow. First of all, the glow radius, which is just controlling the size of the glow, basically. If I set this to zero, you cannot see it anymore or nearly. And now if I set it to 35, you see that it's... And the glow threshold is controlling which luminances of your stripes will be glowing. Okay, so this is basically the fast and easy customization process. If you have any more questions, feel free to write me a message through my video have profile or also through my email, which you can find on my website. And my website is www.graphicinmotion.com. Thank you very much for watching. Have fun with the template and I really hope to see you soon. Goodbye.